I'm Steele Monroe Lasson. I'm 15. Two dogs, mom and dad. Friends, family. I went to a concert with this girl Halsey, who's a singer. She pulled me up on stage and kissed me, and then I got a video of that, so I like put it on Twitter and Instagram, and everyone started like, who's, who is this girl? And then they, everyone said who it was, so they started following me on Instagram and Twitter. I use Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram. Twitter is a big one. <laughs> I use it way too much throughout the day. In the summertime, not always on it, because I'm at the lake, I'm swimming, doing exercise. But during school, I'm on it. Home, I'm on it. My mom, she owns a business. She wakes up probably at 4.30 to get ready, does emails, puts makeup on every day, looks nice every day, just to go to work and support her family. She's very strong. She's one of my biggest heroes. My dad, he is an Olympian. He is writing a book. It's one of my best friends. My family is like my most important thing to me than friends, but family's number one. My friends are caring. They are super weird, very nice though, very funny. They can bring me up in like 2.5 seconds if I'm sad or having a bad day. They're very caring, very caring. I post on social media pictures of my friends doing candid photos, my family, selfies. I follow celebrities. I just like to see people having fun. Most likely every person that has Instagram or some sort of social media has probably been cyber bullied. I know I have. Most of us have phones. Most of us talk about each other, either it's in a good way or a bad way. And when the bad, bad things get really hard, they'll start like going to each other and talking about it and then the rumor gets even worse and worse and worse. Whether it be girl fights who said this, boys who's dating who, all of that. Phones are everywhere. A text is sent and then you can screenshot and send it to other people. When I was bullied, we talked about it and talked about it and then they just said, flat out, I'm jealous of you, like, your life, and I'm like, but that doesn't give you a right to, like, be mean to me. I stood up for a friend. She was getting bullied by, like, older girls. I saw them in the halls. I was like, just be aware, like, what you're saying to her is, like, really, really getting to her. So her mom and I text sometimes, so I just told her what was going on, and then they talked, and she, she was very thankful for that. Most of the time when I'm with my friends, um, I try to be social. I'm not trying to go on my phone all the time. If someone texts me, if it's my mom or dad, I'll obviously respond. But just knowing that you're acknowledging that they're there and having a voice in the conversation is very important to me, either we're at dinner or just watching TV, whether it be whatever time of day it is. I just want like a physical conversation rather than just being on a phone all, to, all the time. If you're struggling with mental health, it will get better. It's just a matter of time. These people that are bullying you or the people, the messages in your head that are telling you, even if you're on prescriptions, it will get better. It's just a matter of time. Try our best just to find that one friend that might be as weird as you, might be as cool as you, or just finding maybe that one friend or finding that one bit of happiness that you can always go back to.